All right guys, in today's Pokemon Unite video, I'm actually trying out Venusaur. I did a practice game and I gotta say, Venusaur does a lot of damage. Obviously, I, I know I'm not Venusaur at the moment, I'm Bulbasaur, just to be clear. Um, from what I can tell, there's actually two builds for this. Well, there's technically two builds for every Pokemon, but it seems, whoa, I don't have my R ability. See, I was about to be like, where did it go? <laughs> Anyways, there seems to be like a more supporty type build. I'm gonna be running like a damage build this time because the damage is pretty crazy because apparently Venusaur's passive is to actually do additional damage the lower health that they are, which, you know, I didn't think that was gonna mean a lot, but it does. It really does. Nice. I'm actually really getting into this game. I know it's super popular right now, but it's actually a lot of fun. Like, pretty cool stuff. I'm trying to get the most out of that bonus that I got. So I can get enough coins to get more Pokemon. At least that is my strategy. I think I mentioned that in the, a video I recorded earlier today as well. I'm trying to auto attack as I move away. I will say if you hold down the A button and you try to move it, it definitely slows you down because of the animation for the auto attack. So be very careful with that. I don't know what this Pokemon I'm with is called, but they're doing a lot of damage. I did learn various things like small little tips, so I might be doing a video on that soon as well because I think some of the stuff I learned is pretty useful. Like in the beginning, when you do your battle prep, you can actually set your skill set, which is useful because if you forget to actually click a skill, it'll auto select the skill that you have set, which is cool when you're doing specific builds. That was something I learned earlier today. Uh-oh, uh oh, it's Gengar. Oh, see, crap, stupid. So I have found that people, if they go into bushes and there's other like little Pokemon in the lane, you know, like the kind that give you experience or whatever, they break your auto target doing that and then you shoot off in the wrong direction unless you're actually aiming your skills without the auto select. I think I can do that, but I feel like it takes me a while to do that, so I don't know. Another cool thing about Venusaur is the animations on the basic attacks. Like, the, when you're close, it does, like, the vine whip. When you're far away, it throws out the bladed leaf. Leaf? Wow, pronounce words, right? <laughs> One of these days. Alright. I think they're doing an update on this game later, or something like that, because I know on the Switch it said something about make sure you restart the app at such and such time. So I'm hoping to see what else they do. Super interested in this game, it gives me a, a new MOBA to play, which is cool, because I've played Heroes, like, till the end of time, since, like, what, uh, not Alpha, Beta. I played it in Beta. I'm trying to auto turn in. I think I just stole their kill. Hey, I think I just got my alt. I was assuming that Venusaur's alt or unit move, whatever you would like to call it. I forgot I get slowed after you pass this point. I thought it would heal and it does not. It does damage. Oh, did I just take their buff? No, no, they're good. You're good, it's fine. I think it does damage and decreases, oh, I actually don't have any, and decreases movement speed or something. I read it twice now and I still am like, hmm, yep, it does that for sure. If it actually heals, I'm gonna feel kind of stupid. <laughs> I'm probably gonna read it at the end of the match. I do like that the matches are pretty short. Like, I believe you can get like five in an hour. That's decent. And the match time, like, the finder is really fast. 
Although some people don't ready up and then you have to wait again, but even if you did, it doesn't even matter. But uh, for my first impressions, this is my second game, like I said. I tried to do a practice so I could at least figure out what the skills are. I really like Venusaur. Like, I think he's pretty awesome. Between like the different abilities, I do want to do a support build because I, I practice with the damage, ooh, damage build. I need to not be on their side. All right, especially not with this guy because he's annoying. I do want to try him. I keep saying that, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. It's okay. It's okay, guys. I've been releasing more than one video for this game a day, so I, I think I'm going to get to it pretty soon here. We need one point. Cool. All right. Like, I feel like if I aim that better here, like if I actually manually aimed it at these bees, it would work a lot better. Because it would hit more of them at one time. Again, I feel like I'm really slow with the actual aiming because you have to hold the button and then use the, the stick to aim it around and it feels like gross. <laughs> but that's probably because I don't usually use a controller. Alright, did they get the thing? That's what the arrows are! They did! I forget what it's actually called. Where is it? Where is it? How do you pronounce that? Rotom? I'm sure that's not right. <laughs> I wonder if there's a strategy at being low health with this uh, Pokemon so you get that increased damage. I don't know how much of an increase it is. Hey! Did we win? Wow, that was a decisive win. Like, usually they're closer than that. Now that, that was pretty decisive. Alright, anyway, guys. Here's the score screen. Um, did I make it on the board? Hey, I got... I got things. What does that mean? Assist? And I'm just guessing. So, what? Assist? kills and then the purple is like how many points you get turning in and I'm now level 10 or 9 level 9 I think it was 9 <laughs> you know reading that's a thing anyways guys if you made it this far thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you guys again soon bye